There you go. That's the busted jack versus the not busted jack. Here we go. This is going to be one of the quicker HP 15 power jack replacement videos. I already have a jack here. That went well. Um, we're gonna just rip this bad boy apart and put in a brand new power jack. You probably can't see it from there, but the jack is not good. Yeah, it's a big old, uh, the plastic thing that goes in the middle of the jack that holds all the pins is busted. And so nothing plugged in actually stays put. Um, this is pretty straightforward, really. You take all the screws out of the bottom, you take out the battery, you know. You basically just need to get into the computer. And the DC jack is pretty easy to get to. I think that you may have to remove the hinge, but I can't remember. We'll find out, won't we? Hmm. This is the worst part, taking all these screws out. It's just such a pain. <sighs> okay. I can't remember if there are screws under the memory door or not. One of the more frustrating aspects of this is getting uh if you have a hard drive and you need to do hard drive replacement you have to take the whole stinking thing apart to get to the hard drive i don't understand why manufacturers decided that it was a good idea to make it hard to get to the hard drive it's just it doesn't make a lot of sense okay I think all the screws are the same length, which makes me happy to see in any co Okay, that was hard to get out. Uh, a little unnecessarily hard to get out. So you have to take the CD drive out, and then there's three screws in there. Um, there... There's a video. <clears throat> These appear to be number zero. Phillips, not number one Phillips, because the number two, or the uh, number one Phillips didn't go. So, you'll need a smaller number zero Phillips. Uh, you know what? That, that is not good. That one's pretty chewed up, actually. Ah, uh, that's not good. Okay, well. There's no way this will fit, huh? Yeah, there's no way that'll fit. This is getting chewed up, and that's going to be a problem. I really don't want to drill out a screw, so... Push harder! Ugh. Like, seriously! Sometimes you really do just have to push hard to get the stupid things out. Okay. Memory door. Because I am fairly confident. Not 100%, but fairly confident that... Under this memory door, there is... A screw of some sort that will hold the top on. If you guys don't have one of these, um, these little pry tools, they, uh, they call them metal spudgers if you get them on eBay, but uh, some places refer to the set as clay modeling tools. I mean, it could kind of be either. The bottom line is it's soft metal. Yeah, see there's one screw right there, um, and I'm pretty sure the motherboard is attached to the bottom, but if it wasn't, we'd have to take this screw out and get the wireless card out. Uh, nope, there's two screws here as well, so get those out too. There's three total screws under here. Now, one thing you may notice with this video is that unlike the video I was about to refer to earlier, um, I have a really long video where I repair the hinges on this Lenovo, but it may not make it out before the video you are currently watching. So, um, what, what happened in that video that gave me some trouble is that, see this, these stinking keyboard clips, you kind of have to shove it in here into the slit and you have to push the Oh, wait a minute. I'm being dumb. Um, that's actually dirty. 
This one is the one that has the clips kind of hidden. You have to shove it through the seam and just sort of pry it up. And if you can, yeah, there, yeah, you have to flex the keyboard to get it out. Can't stand that. Okay. But the video that I did before this video, the problem that I ended up having with it is that I have this overhead light. Why are you stuck? This flip lock connector won't flip. Um, ah, had to put even force on both sides. Um, that video had a problem where uh, I only had this overhead light. You can see the shadow cast by my hand, but you notice that there's a light over here too. So without this, it'd be like this, but with it, it's like this. And the idea was that uh, in that last video, you couldn't see some of the things that I was doing due to a lack of light um, coming in from a different angle. So I whipped out a cheap LED desk lamp. Um, I don't know that it's helping all that much, but uh, yeah. Anything that makes it easier for you to see what I'm doing is a good thing. Let me actually just move it up. Because I think... Yeah. That might be better. It might be better that way. Yeah, I think that's going to work out a lot better, don't you? So take all the screws out of the bottom. CD drive out. Take the screws out. From under the CD drive, take the memory door off, take the screws out from under the memory door, take the keyboard out, take the screws out from under the keyboard and pop these flip lock connectors and everything has to be pried apart now. It's so frustrating. I cannot stand having to constantly pry this junk apart. But Welcome to modern computing, where everything has to be pried apart. Mm. Everything is held together with plastic clips. We are living in a plastic world. Oh no, don't don't play the song right now. Well, honestly, I like that song. Uh, did I forget something? Uh, yep, look at that. One screw, right there. Somehow missed it. Brilliant. And I just realized that I'm talking about a song called Plastic World, but I don't know of any songs called Plastic World, though I'm sure there's a song called Plastic World. I meant Plastic Love. Maria Takeuchi, I believe. Yeah. It'd be nice if I could play that in a video, but, um, copyright. Yeah. Annoying. Um, <laughs> come on, get out of here, you piece of junk. Ah, jeez. There's no way. Did I miss another screw or something? Don't screw with me. No, I didn't. It's just this particular HP 15 is being particularly junky. Ah, come on. You really have to shove it down and then kind of pivot the end in. Oh, come on. Yeah. I don't even know where the clip was. It was somewhere under here? I don't know. Anyway, gently pull. Uh -huh. oh, what's going on? There's nothing stopping you. you. You can come apart, you piece of junk. You can come apart. It's okay. I'm pulling these wires to make sure they don't get yanked too hard. <sighs> come on. Come on. Still uh, a little sketchy on this recording setup, but you know. I'm gonna keep moving the camera around and see what works and uh... Th okay, this is getting really obnoxious. Okay. Okay, okay. Small victories. Okay. DC Jack. DC Jack is right here. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. Yeah, DC Jack right here. So what do we do? We replace the stinking DC jack. Now what do we have to do? There is a brace over it. 
like so. That's going to have to be removed. Two screws. All right. Come on out. Come on out. Okay. Now, the other part of this, the potentially more difficult part, is that the jack plugs in under these two wires. So you probably need to pull the LCD cable and the webcam cable, which you need to be careful. It's got a very small connector. Ah. Yeah. Be gentle. Now, the power jack connector... The power jack connector is under the motherboard. We don't have to take the motherboard out. Thank God, because I really don't feel like taking anything else apart. You can just get this jack excised and uh, basically just pull and it comes right out. Then, get your new jack. Make sure your new jack looks like your old jack. It's not identical, but uh, if you were to look at the wiring under this tag that they so helpfully have put right over the wiring um, that wiring uh, yeah it looks looks pretty identical to me anyway um, all the colors match up so it's definitely the right jack it's the right shape and everything and while we are here, you can probably see if I come in here and I focus things for you. There you go. That's the busted jack versus the not busted jack. Okay, back to the board. So, busted jack, go away. Come again another day. Um, now the hard part is going to be getting this plugged in through the same hole we yanked the other one. And that, my friends, is where things get ugly. You can kind of put this pry tool here and gently pry the board up. And uh, hope that it gives you enough clearance to shovel the jack into its original hole with the long fingernail that I hope you have. Um, alternatively, yeah, that worked, but alternatively, um, it, it, there's a screw here, and a screw here, and two cables here, and a speaker cable here, and yet you could, you know, if you're feeling a little spirited, you could just pull these cables and these two screws and take the whole motherboard out, and that'd be the end of that. But, you know, I like to do things the hard way. I am not a smart man. While I'm in here, um, these screws for these hinges wouldn't hurt to uh, give them a little quick right tweak. A little quick tweak just to make sure they are still nice and tight. Because if those start backing out, it will be bad and they will not have fun times. Um, yeah. The jack is being a little pesky about going back in the hole here, but what are you gonna do? Come on, get in there. All right, so what's going on? Why won't this jack go back? Hmm, stop, we have to go back. Uh, there must be a clip. There must be something in here. Mm. So what's going on? There is actually a clip right there. Okay. So it's got to get pushed past a clip. So get it as straight as you can. And uh, maybe just use brute force. I don't know. Or you could use this pry tool to try and pry the clip out of the way, although I think I just broke it. I don't, I don't really care if I break it. It does not matter if you break the stupid plastic clip. And here is why. Because Hot Pockets, I mean Hewlett Packard, I mean HP, gave us this lovely brace here that goes over the jack anyway. 
Are those different lengths? Please tell me those aren't different lengths and I didn't keep track. I don't think they are. I think the long one goes here where the Kensington lock goes. Yep. So there's this brace that holds it down. So what even is the point? Uh, don't forget to hook your cables back up for your webcam. Again, it's a very small connector, so try to be gentle. <laughs> try to be gentle. You're not going to see me do it, but... Oh, come on. Get in there. It's just so small and really difficult to tell if you've got the stinking thing in all the way or not. Fingernails, really helpful. Thumbnails in particular, really helpful. Um, if you see a man who doesn't have neatly trimmed fingernails, he's probably a computer repair guy. That That's not actual, like, life advice, so, you know, don't trust me. Um, I'm not trustworthy, obviously. Okay, new power jack. New power jack. Now, one of my problems is I can't really um, put this back together right now. Because if I put this back together right now, um, this customer may want a solid state upgrade or have a hard drive failure. So, what do you do if you may have to go back into the computer? Well, you can take it and plug up just the cables and the keyboard and not actually put any of the screws back in it. But, um, you know, reassembly is the reverse of disassembly. So all you have to do once you get your jack replaced is throw this back on, cable, cable, a bunch of screws, keyboard, uh, DVD drive screws, and put the DVD drive back in and then put all the screws back in the bottom and put the memory door back on. Pretty straightforward stuff. Um, with that, I shall leave you. Here's your uh, lovely DC jack repair. Hmm, high end, yes. Have a wonderful day. Take care. <laughs>